Now, sniffer dogs in Finland are giving the travel industry a glimmer of hope. A pilot project at Helsinki Airport is providing instant and pain-free coronavirus testing on the spot. Well, meet Kossi, Mina and E.T. They've already sniffed out over 2,000 test samples since their booth was set up a month ago. The dogs identified coronavirus in 0.6% of those samples, which mirrors the same findings as a nasal PCR test. Earlier this year, researchers found dogs can detect the virus with close to perfect accuracy up to five days earlier than a PCR test. Well, let's look a little bit more now about the complications of travel right now in this pandemic. Rory Boland is the editor of Which Travel, a UK-based magazine. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Oh, it's painful to look at all those guidebooks behind you and those are places that it's so difficult to get to right now. Lots of people who might have had a trip planned around the world have found that they've been cancelled and airlines maybe haven't refunded them the tickets. What are the big challenges facing consumers right now? So as you, you rightly say, that the greatest challenge is that you can't go anywhere despite many of us being desperate to do so. We know there is a huge pent up demand to book holidays. So lots of people are looking at, you know, summer 2021 already. Part of the reason people can't book some of those holidays is that they are still struggling to get their money back from the first time around. And um, so we, we saw almost all flights canceled in, in April, and May, June. And some people are still struggling to get that cash back across the European Union in, in almost all of the countries because airlines have been slow or made it very difficult to get that cash back. You know, which and the, the European Consumer Association um, reported several airlines to the European Commission over a month ago about this, the, the refusal to give refunds. Some people have been waiting five, six months to get their money back. And, you know, does it look likely that in some cases they will because it's an extremely complicated and there are people waiting months to see that money return to their bank balance again? The, the good news is that it, it, the law is very straightforward. We enjoy in Europe some of the best protections in the world around our, our right to travel. And um, if your flight has been cancelled by the airline, you are due a refund within seven days. That is a European Union regulation. Now, I know there will be people listening and, you know, saying, well, you're telling me seven days. I've been waiting nearly seven months. My advice would be not to give up. You are due that money. You will get it back. If you're really struggling with the airline, if you've attempted to get your cash back from them and they've refused, or more likely they have delayed, it's very difficult to get in touch with some of those airlines, then approach your credit card or debit card provider and they will be able to help you get that money back. Explain the situation, explain that you have been patient, you've attempted to work with the airline, it's still refusing, and you definitely will get your cash back. People trying to book holidays for next year. I know you're based in the UK and the UK government's currently advising against all but essential travel and holidays really don't fit into that essential category. Is it wise to book a holiday at all right now? You know, there's a difference between travel and booking. Um, it, it's really difficult to travel at the moment really anywhere in Europe because of the, the, the rules changing so quickly. It's not just whether you will be able to go to the country, it's whether you will then be required to quarantine, whether you will be required to quarantine when you return. So really, at the moment, it's not a great time to travel. Booking is slightly different. So looking ahead to summer 2021, you can have some confidence that there will be some element of normality back then to travel. We are seeing testing being introduced in, in lots of parts of, of Europe at airports. The, the advice we are giving people is to book package holidays in Europe if you've booked a package holiday you enjoy far greater protections than if you book a flight and hotel separately if you book a flight and hotel separately and, and something goes wrong your, your trip is disrupted I'm afraid that's quite likely for the foreseeable future it can be difficult if not impossible to get your money back if you've booked a package holiday so that's a flight and hotel together at the same time with the same company you are far better protected. So if you do face disruption, you will get your money back. And it gives us something to look forward to. You know, if we book that 2021 holiday, you know, there's something to look in the calendar and, and be hopeful about.